forced government spending cuts take effect March 1st. It's what Washington has been calling the sequester. It's a stupid name for a stupid thing. These cuts are not smart. They are not fair. They will hurt our economy. They will add hundreds of thousands of Americans to the unemployment rolls. This is not an abstraction. People will lose their jobs. You've heard the big numbers. $1.2 trillion in cuts over 10 years. $85 billion this year. That's 13% cuts to defense, 9% to everything else. We're weeks away uh, from the president's sequester, and the president laid out no plan uh, to, uh, to eliminate the sequester and the harmful cuts that'll come as a result of it. The forced budget cuts were created during the 2011 debt ceiling debacle. They were passed by Congress and signed by the White House. A worst case scenario that would be so bad it would force lawmakers to make a deal. Now it's become a poison pill that the nation may have to swallow beginning March 1st. And if it happens, 70,000 children kicked off Head Start programs, putting more than 14,000 teaching and staff jobs at risk. Fewer inspections for things like horse meat in your burgers. Cuts to mental health programs mean almost 400,000 seriously mentally ill people will go untreated. Homeland Security drawdowns would result in longer wait times at airports and scaled back cybersecurity would mean more vulnerability to attacks from hackers in China and at home threatening our infrastructure. Furloughs and layoffs would affect more than 800,000 workers in the defense industry at the same time that North Korea is testing a nuclear bomb. Cuts at the IRS would mean fewer tax return reviews and longer waits to get refunds and more than 100,000 people would be thrown out of emergency housing and onto the streets. One way or another, everyone is going to feel this, while Washington continues to play the blame game. The bottom line is very simple. The Republicans have proposed devastating cuts. Washington Democrats have gotten used to Republicans bailing them out for their own lack of responsibility. Ali Velshi, CNN, New York.